All right, so I did just finish my assignment that's due in like three hours and it's currently 5.32 a.m. in the morning. I don't manage to figure out how I end up in this predicament every single time. We're done, we finished, I'm going to bed. Do I look like a zombie? Do I look dead? I, I feel dead inside. I had a total of an hour and 45 minutes of sleep. <sighs> okay, Google, what time is it? It's 4.17. We're starting the day off very, very late today. Do you guys ever find that when you wake up in the morning that the, the light from your phone is like, kills your eyes? I should lower this. I don't even know why I have it on full brightness. So much better, but now you can't see me. Ready, ready? Look at this, this is magic. Oh, look at that. I got some brand new lights yesterday, as you guys probably saw in my video. This on. Oh, look at that. All right, so welcome to the next part of this show. Welcome to another edition of Subscriber Q&A by Taryn Rule. Hey, I was thinking of being a financial advisor when I'm older and I'm still in high school, so where do I go from here? Is the pay good and is your job flexible and exciting? In terms of pay as being a financial advisor at a bank, it pays very well. You can most definitely build a life and a career financial advising people at banks. In terms of the job being flexible and exciting, yes and yes. Flexible in the sense that at least where I work, uh, the bank is very accommodating to your needs as an employee and then they really treat you well. In terms of excitement, every single client that you see in your office has a unique problem that they bring to the table. It's your job as an advisor to fix it and, and to provide guidance and advice. And I think that part is, excites me a lot because every time you interact with, some, with somebody, it's, it's a different experience. What's your all time favorite smartphone? I'm gonna be honest, I I think my favorite smartphone of all time has to be the iPhone 4S. That was my very first like touchscreen smartphone that I ever got. I got that in grade nine and I was through the roof when I got it. Lo and behold though, like a couple of days or a couple of weeks after owning that phone, some girl was running around with my phone, smashed it on the ground and that dream of an, an amazement and excitement of owning an iPhone kind of went down the toilet. I did not charge her for breaking my iPhone though. A part of me kind of regrets that. A part of me wishes that I that I did. I've been getting so many comments lately on YouTube. I totally appreciate that. Please keep leaving me comments. I'm just gonna spend the next hour responding to all of this. It's crazy. I have hundreds of comments I need to answer back to. It's currently 5.40 in the afternoon and it's literally nighttime. I don't like it. Tell the viewers what you did today. Um, uh, I went to see my professor. He didn't show up. What so, else? So then I went to work on my presentation instead. And then I went to class. And he showed up to class. I was trying to give you the camera to hold it. You weren't holding it. Oh, I didn't I just committed an illegal act. God damn it, it, it <laughs> it's snowing. Anyway, drop a like down below if you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're new. But until next time, I'll see all of you guys in tomorrow's vlog. Peace.